Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums. There's I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, playing No Man's Sky. Kind of obvious. And um, I'm on my PlayStation 5 save, and um, I'm going to be building a couple of bases. I'm going to build one on a swamp planet, and I'm going to be building another one on a lava planet. And they're going to be mainly built for fishing. Now, Kurt, the maker of the No Man's Sky Assistant app, has hit me up rather kindly and given me access since I'm one of his Patreons to something that's a bit of a work in progress. I'll see if I can bring it up on screen and show you what he's been working on. Yeah, secret squirrel type project. Yeah, that's a jump on in. So this lists every type of fish inside of game and whether they're found at day or night or in storm. And it also tells you the type of biome that they're found upon. And you can actually filter it per biome. So the reason I've chose like, you know, swamp or whatever, if I filter it by swamp, you can see here all the different swamp fish. So they're already going to be on swamp. And the reason that I'm doing this on my PlayStation 5 save is my PlayStation 5 save has got over a thousand hours on it. And it is my most complete save. So I'm hoping that one day Hello Games give us some sort of cloud feature to move our game saves over. So what I'm firstly going to do is look in my base repository, all the bases that I have firstly, to see if I already have a base on a swamp planet that has water. Because if I do, I can just delete the base, move it somewhere else on the planet and repurpose a base. Because I haven't got many base parts left. So we may as well take a look, see and see what I can find. So I'll jump on over into game and see if I can find a candidate, people. OK, Jumps, I think I may have found a contender. I just don't know whether this planet has water. I can only but hope. Let's warp there and let's see what we have. I can always use the fast return method because I've used this portal inside of the Nexus. OK, Jumps, we'll look in the planet. It looks like it's got water. It's also got vile brood. It's in an abandoned system. Uh, it hasn't, oh, it has got life on here. Interesting. OK, cool. All right, fine. Well, let's um, take a look at the base that we've already got built here. It's just a strange skull. I've got a few plants in here. None that are going to help me with baits, really, or too much. All right, well, I think I can delete this base. I'm not going to miss it. Nope. Just try to shoot that with a, a fishing rod. It's not going to work, is it? Right, well, it has got a lot of collectors here, so I was using this for something at some point. I don't know what it's collecting. Let's have a, oh, it's got some feeders around here. Well, it hasn't really done too much, has it? To be fair. No. All right, fine. Well, where's my base computer? I think it's about time that we deleted this then. And uh, we'll move it somewhere else. If I can find the poxy base computer. Where the fudge did I put the base computer? All right. Give me a little while. I'll find it. I found it. Now I called this the Dirty Meat Offal Endor. So this is probably when I was trying to complete the cooking. The cooking catalogue. OK, it's a delete base. There we go. Goodbye, Dirty Offal Base. Oh, look, there's a, there's a lake right below us. <laughs> I might have just been able to be with a fishing platform down there. Then again, I need the base part count to be um, reset. But you know what? Let's let's have a little, little look off that mountain, shall we? Let's have a look at this little lake because it looks like it's quite secluded. It looks looks perfect, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this. This is quite a cool little area for a lake. If we can find some... Oh, yeah. Look, there's a little inlet right there. Let's jump on down. Let's have a look. Uh-oh. This was probably a mistake. This is higher than it freaking looks. Uh-oh. 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 Okay, we're free-falling. Oh, yeah. Epic. Dan, 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 dan. And... Bloosh. Whoa, Nelly. That was cool. Okay, right. Let's uh, get on up. I mean, it's not the deepest. I mean, to be honest, we might need to do one out at the ocean because the rarer of the fish are in the deeper oceans. But this is such a cool little secluded spot. And it does look like it's quite deep in places, but it's just not it's just not deep enough. I'm going to go out to the oceans and see if we can find a nice deep spot. 
I called this NMSA Endor. I wonder if this is in the 905 hub. This is actually really quite cool. Oh, that's a perfect place for a freaking base, isn't it? Look at it, surrounded by mountains. That'd be beautiful in VR, wouldn't it? I'm so half tempted to just build here. But I don't think I'm going to catch every single fish here, am I? I don't know. Okay, we're going to have to go somewhere else because there are bigger fish to be had. So we better get somewhere deeper. Oh, it's a shame. There you go. All right. Let's go out to sea. Oh, I'll see you in a moment, people. Okay, I think I've found a place that's rather interesting. Let me just pop into camera mode and let me show you. I think this is quite interesting. I mean, you can see that there's got deeper ocean areas here. It's a nice little island. You can still see some shrubberies off in the distance. I think this would do. I think this is quite a nice little covey area. Yeah, I do. It's not as nice as that little secluded spot that I found earlier, though, is it? Oh, look, there's like a little mini pond there as well. That's pretty cool. What I'm hoping to do is build my base here. Then you see where all those epic bits are under the water. I'm going to have a pier coming from here, going right over there. That's what I'm thinking of doing anyway. Or even this way and going out there. Yeah, that's probably better, actually, that way. OK, right, well, I get building. Let's, uh, let's claim a base at this point here. Chicka boom. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing live streams of me fishing from here and I'm going to show you the sort of fish that I catch and hopefully we're going to catch every single fish that we can see on Kurt's page I don't know whether I'm going to do a live stream per biome or whether I might get around to doing two per biome so I'm going to build a base here and I might go to a volcanic world and build a secondary base there but I reconvene once I've built my base well how do there chums well I, I think I'm pretty deep let's um Let's just swap to the actual fishing rod, because when you cast out, it does tell you the depth. You see where it says 65, well, 64.5 tox. When you cast, I think it actually tells you the depth. 24.3 U. So it's not like super deep, but it's it's deep enough, isn't it, really? That's not too bad, to be fair. I mean, you can get to 50 U's in depth, can't you, really? Or even deeper still. But uh, Let's have a quick look. Let's see what we get anyway, since I'm hooked now. There we go, a medium size on common fish, a stonefish. Cool. All right, well, we'll see how we get on tomorrow anyway. But I've put up some decals here, and I've got like a little area here with a large refiner, and I've also got like a neutral processor and a place to sell all the fish if I wish to. Then I've got a load of gamma root and also some fecium grown in each one of these. I've got four fecium plants, and then the rest is gamma. And the idea is I should be able to make more of those um, bionic laws. I've got loads. Of, I've got like, what, six of these grown out. So hopefully I can grow at least 20 a day or so. And that's the actual base. It's just a giant pier. Inside of these bottom areas is all the solar panels and batteries. And then I put stilts on them as well. So it's not, it's not a bad build. I, th I think it's quite a workable build, this one. And look, it's all got stilt legs on it, so it's quite believable. And it does take you out fairly deep. Then I suppose what I could do is summon the skiff and then use the skiff to go out even deeper and maybe get to maybe like, you know, 50 odd U's perhaps underneath the ocean that way. Yeah, so I think this has got potential. It's in inland. But what I could do maybe is even put the um, the Nomad here, couldn't I, you know? So rather than use the skiff to get all the way out there, I could use the Nomad. Let's rotate it round so it's facing out to sea. And then I could use that to, to get myself out a little bit deeper, then call my skiff and do some deep sea fishing if needs be. Right, and this is kind of going to be my basic fishing base on each planet, I think, people. So I'll probably go and build the, one of these on a lava world. I think what I might do tomorrow it's just get an idea of how long it's going to take. So let's just put this back into normal mode now that I've finished building my base in creative. Boom. And um, I think I'm ready to upload this. There we go. So I delete this and I'm going to call it. Yeah, leave it to me. I'll name this. OK, I'm going to call this Swamp Fishing Pier Brood Planet. You know, so yeah, I think that sort of says it all. Let's capture a base screenshot of this. I love the purple hues I'm getting on this. It's very cool, isn't it? Very cool indeed. That'll do. Lovely. And upload.
I wish you could adjust the sun in those pictures, you know, like um, in camera mode. But there we go. I think that that base is now already already in set for me to do my fishing tomorrow. I was just thinking what I might want to do is maybe put like a, a storage container here so I can offload everything that's on my person into a storage container. And that way, when I'm fishing, I know whether I've managed to get all the catches that I need to get. And then I can always put my crud back into my exosuit again. Or what I could do is call down a ship that I don't use all too often and use that as a storage container. That's probably the best way to do it, isn't it? So I don't think I've used this one for ages. Let's have a look. Yeah, there's not much in there. I could put all my all my stuff inside of there, couldn't I? Yeah, let's start putting everything inside of there, apart from my fish. There we go. Oh, this 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 could take a little while actually, couldn't it? Okay. There's no fast. That's, that's as fast as it goes, right? Yeah. In fact, it's a lot quicker with a storage container. Hmm. Might have to do a storage container or two. Yeah. Now it's a lot easier. Now all I've got to do is just press triangle on these things so, and start transferring stuff that isn't fish into my storage container, make a load of space. And yeah, you can just press triangle on them now. Look. Pretty darn cool. And I'm going to delete some stuff that I don't really need. I don't really need all these bones, for example. That was probably from the weekend mission. I probably don't need a lot of this stuff either. Pulse engine modules? Well, I'll store them anyway, just in case I get a new ship or something. Right, anyway, leave this with me, and I'll be right back. Right, OK, well, I've managed to empty out all of my inventory, and now I can just get fish. But I'm thinking, so I can sort of keep up with which one's a swamp biome and so forth and so on, it's probably best that I release all these fish that I have on me. Now, I've already done a, a video on nanites, and if it's worth doing nanites, the only thing is you're not going to see my nanites change. So, I mean, I, I could... I could stick all these in a neutron processor and process them all so I get some recipes unlocked. I might just do that. Yeah, because I don't need the nanites. I might as well go spend some time on the neutron processor and get a load of recipes. Why the fudge not, people, while we're at it? Okay, okay, well, let's, uh, let's go spin all these. So all I'm going to do is get them. Bonk. And go to my exosuit. Boom. And I'm just going to turn them into whatever they turn into, just so I get the recipes. Cool. And I'll see you in a moment. So yeah, we're going to progress on these, making all sorts of weird stuff. Very nice. And you can always put them over here and turn them into something else. Yeah, oh, don't know why I didn't get two there. There you go. But yeah, you can make fishy soup and all sorts of stuff. Don't know why we're putting that in there. And make the soup? No, not just yet. But yeah, let's put this guy in it. Yeah, easy peasy. Right, so now I've got these. All I can do is then put them in here. That's going to make seafood stew. Let's make some seafood stew then. And I wonder if I just pick that up and split it in half and put it there. Yeah, make another seafood stew. Nice. And I wonder what two seafood stews make. So if I put one there and then pick this one up and put that one there, what does that make? Nothing. Okay. Just one seafood stew? Nothing. How much is it worth? 52,000. Okay, not too bad, I suppose. I have to see what it looks like as a bait. Now, if you put three things in here, like so, you're going to get C's bounty. Have I got another two stack? Yeah, I have. There you go. Then get C's bounty. I'm probably going to turn them all into C's bounty and then try putting that on the hook and see what that's like as, as bait, you know? Why the fudge not? What about C's bounty into there? Does that turn into anything if I put two in? No, heck, does it? Right, OK. Uh, let's put in that. That. One of them. Make some more C's bounty. Might as well. Right, just out of interest, let's see what those two things do. Let's see what sort of levels that they give. Because, you know, I've made this out of fish. You often see fishermen putting stuff back on their hook. Oh, attracts nocturnal fish and improves rarity of 39% and catch size of 24%. That is actually a really good bait to use at night. OK, well, what about the seafood soup? Let's have a quick look at that. Seafood stew. Attracts nocturnal fish again at night. 51% rarity rate and catch size up by 24%. 
Not bad. So rather than release the fish, this makes a very good alternative to night bait. So if we are doing a bit of night fishing, or a little bit of fishing in general, I know what to do now. We'll be making up a load of baits using the uh, neutron processor people. Awesome night bait, that. There must be other recipes out there. I am hoping that Kurt can update the app once more with baits. This planet for a swamp world is actually quite pretty. It's actually quite a nice planet. I'm actually quite impressed. Right, let's try casting over there, because that looks deeper over there. Let's go as far as we can. Let's see how deep that is. Oh, we can go really far. Let's go all the way over there. I haven't got any bait on. Let's just see the depth that it is over there. 28 U, so still not massively deep. And I'm dredging right now because I've got no bait on at all. Let's we'll see if we catch anything interesting with no bait on the line. Oh, the water's getting a bit choppy. Let's see what we get. Got a little fishy. And, and we're in. We've got something. And we've got a toxic stonefish. Nice. Okay. Extreme pH environments. Cool, yeah. Well, um, you know, I think I'm in a position now where I can make sure I've definitely uploaded the base, make a quick save, and I think we're all good. Yeah, I'm not going to use that ship. I'm going to use this one over here. Set that one as my primary. It's my favourite ship. I guess. And then we'd um, jump back, upload the base. And I think, oh, probably have to jump back to the ship again now and make another save, eh? But there we go. Ah, hold on. I'm still in creative mode. I want to put that back into a normal mode for tomorrow. Done. And upload base. There we go. Just come to think of it, I might have to go back into creative mode for a second and just make myself some life support gel. And um, the other one for hazard protection. Just because right now... Oh, hold on. Can I just make them anyway? I could probably make myself a stack of... Okay, 12. And I need I need the life support one as well. I haven't got no dehydrogen jelly. So, yeah, I might have to chuck myself in creative mode and just craft a few of those. Okay, give myself 100 of each. That's cool. Right, so back into normal mode for tomorrow. Done, done, and done. You know what? Down here, though... In here, you can actually put this to auto-catch. And then no fish are going to get away. There you go, I think I'm ready for tomorrow. I think we're all good for tomorrow. Let's just jump in my ship. Out of my ship. And we are ready for fishing. For tomorrow's live stream. So this video has just been... Mainly about my base build. We've even got a little pond here. That's pretty cool, isn't it? I wonder if I can just cast into there. Can I still catch... A fish in this. Seriously? <laughs> it's as shallow as fudge. What are we going to get there? I've got no bait on either. So hopefully an old boot or something. Because I still need to catch all of that. This could be my little dredging pond. Because there's not many fish that are going to swim that shallow, is there? Okay, here we go. And we've got a pond skipper. Yeah, okay. Well, they're found all the way across the galaxy. There's nothing amazing about those. But yeah, this might be my little dredging pond. I might do a little bit of dredging, see if I catch anything interesting. You know what? I'll do a bit of dredging now and see if we can catch anything interesting. And any fish that I catch, I can throw in and make some more bait. All right, so I won't be a moment. I was going to end off, but this could be fun. Okay, I've got a bile worm. All right, cool. All right, I'll carry on. You know what, people? Because I caught that bile worm and I was like, hold on. I might be catching actual swamp planet creatures now. I might be subtracting from my live stream in trying to catch all fish in the swamp biome. So what I've done is I've put these little auto catches in because they're nice and shallow. They're nice and easy for me to harvest. And you are limited to three per base. And I just think that's a really cute spot for them. And it saves me wading into deep toxic water, doesn't it? So there we go. Done, done, and done. Right, I better jump in my ship, out of my ship again. Just create another save. I don't know whether they count as part of my base. I think they do. I don't know whether I have to re-upload my base again. I might just have to do that quickly. Yeah. All right. Anyway, I'm going to say goodbye, people in the viewers. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you like my base build. I hope you like what I've done. I hope you join me for the live stream to see how this goes. See if we can catch all of these swamp-based fish. Yeah, see you later. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.